Hey, what's up, Beast? This is Shane from Rocket Pirate Sound, and welcome back to a Fire Ass Serum tutorial. Right now, you're going to be learning how to make this super heavy bandpass growl and serum, and you're also going to be learning a bunch of cool different growl tricks that you can stick in your sound design toolbox and whip out in your own music. So, I highly encourage you to stick around to the end of this video. I'm going to be revealing a bunch of cool sound design tricks. So, without further ado, this is what the sound sounds like. Right? And then we could take Macro One and play around with it. Pretty damn cool, let's jump in. Jumping right into the sound here, what are we making? We're making a growl bass, so think about it. What do we want as the foundation? Well, my friends, we want a growly, you know, nasty, vocally wavetable to kind of set down that foundation. Then afterwards, we're going to be manipulating it with effects and filters and whatnot to shape it. Okay, so the foundation is going to be a growly sound, not like a basic shape like we do with other dubstep basses. So go ahead and go into our spectral and grab an odd pass because that's the wavetable that I used. And, you know, just playing around with it, you can kind of hear. Yeah, you know, it's got some, got a little bit of a gurgly sound to it. So just go ahead and take our LFO one and modulate that backwards. Because that's going to be the movement for our preset. And in the LFO, you can do whatever you want. You could follow along with the shape that I make, or who knows, maybe, you know, you're feeling something else. Go ahead and play around with that. Totally up to you, my man. Okay, put this on a trigger or envelope. I'll put it on an envelope. Perfect. So moving forward here, um, here, let's go ahead and turn on oscillator B. We're gonna run FM. And I know what you're thinking, Shane, we've never run FM on a growl before. Well, listen folks, it's amazing in this sound. Why? Because in this particular sound, we turn on the FM and we use a sawtooth waveform, which is found in the basic shapes. Turn this up one octave, right? And now we turn on the FM, we get to play, or we get to add in like this cool harmonic sound that we typically wouldn't have and what we typically don't hear in a growl bass. So turn that to 50%. And to add in a little bit of movement, we'll just modulate it with like LFO one, but just like one or 2%. Okay, nothing too crazy just yet. So what we'll do is we'll take our unison and we'll just turn it up all the way and drop the random phase down to zero. So we rhythmify it by dropping this down. <laughs> Right? And then just turn up that detuning all the way up here. Perfect. So now we're going to shape the tonalities even further. Now, what I used for this particular sound is I went to the flanges and I grabbed the flanger H. Yeah, H6 positive. And we'll turn on keyboard tracking. That way, whatever note that we press, you know, the filter is going to move along with us, right? Because Essentially what we're doing here is we're adding in like harmonic number one with the FM and then we're adding in like another cool harmonic tone using the uh, you know the, the filter this flanger filter. It's really really cool. We're just making a unique style uh, growl bass here. Just turn this down so we hear something that sounds decent. Uh, that's good enough for now. We can always go back and tweak it and play around with that. That's one of the things I like to tweak is the the flanger cutoff. Okay, and yeah, folks, I think that's good for the oscillator section. It sounds like kind of like an old dat six type sound, you know what I mean? But let's go ahead and modulate this biatch. We'll take a band pass 24 and we're going to modulate this, okay? Take LFO one and modulate it up. Oh my goodness, we can't even hear anything. Yeah, this bandpass 24 is really has, um, or it's got a, a steep slope to it on the frequency. So cutting out quite a bit here. Now you're really gonna be able to hear stuff once we maybe turn on the distortion. So turn on the distortion. Perfect, and the distortion's kind of bringing it out a little bit. Um, and same with the multiband compressor. So turn on compressor, then turn on multiband. Turn up that gain. We can turn up the master volume. So pretty damn cool so far. Now what we'll do is we'll take our EQ and we're gonna be creating what's called a double notch filter. So we have the notch filter, right? Which is where we, we take this and we invert it so it's going down. So a negative gain. 
So we'll take this, turn up that Q factor a little bit so it's steeper. And when we modulate this, we modulate this notch filter, which is actually found in here, right? If we go to normal notch, this is exactly what that is. It's just like an inverted peak filter. And we'll modulate this backwards. It creates like that, that, uh, that vocally style sound. Perfect. And we're gonna do that again, okay? Drop the next gain down, okay? Uh, turn up that Q factor a little bit so it's a little bit steeper. And turn down the frequency. And yeah, we'll just uh, modulate it pretty much the same amount. It's just like we're in Massive. Remember that synthesizer? Some of you guys have just started producing. So if you didn't use Massive, maybe you're using Massive X. Um, but the double notch was the shit, bro. So what we're gonna do is we'll just grab our phaser and we're going to be, you know, kind of creating like a, a guitar amp type effect. So drop the rate down, drop the depth down, and then take our frequency and drop that down as well to like 43 hertz. Now it's really heavy, so we're gonna wanna turn down that feedback to like 33%. So it's not as intense, but it's still there, right? And finally, we can finish it off with like a little bit of hyper and dimension. Now guys, the sound isn't done yet, by the way. <laughs> it really is not done. Um, just turn on the size and put up the mix a little bit. So why isn't it done? Number one, we wanna put on our macro onto FM. So that way we could go ahead and play around with whatever we want and find like a tonality that sounds dope, right? And we could even play around with the, uh, the cutoff as well. Put a macro onto that. But we're not even done from there too. So go ahead and turn on like an OTT compressor. I'm using the multi-pass from, um, from Kilo Hearts with the overachiever preset on there. And then uh, turn on a channel EQ just to cut out that sub. So, you know, it would actually flow good into your song. <laughs> And you could even play around with the unison here. So there's a lot that you can do with this sound, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned a bunch. Um, so one of the things I forgot to mention and place emphasis on is, is the power of the bandpass. The bandpass is really, really incredible for growls. You know, you put on a bandpass and then uh, what makes it pop is putting on like an OTT compressor, like this right here, the multiband, or this multipass, and it brings out like all those frequencies that are getting cut out. So you have almost like that old Skrillex growl type effect. Uh, let me just see, because I feel like we could tweak this a little bit better. You guys might... Cool, cool. Yeah, so just play around with the sound and you guys got it. All right, so if you enjoyed this video, if you, enjoy, if you like this sound, go ahead and click the like button. That way I'll make more tutorials like this. I'm like, okay, you guys like growls and like heavy basses like this. And of course, I want you to comment below what sound you would like to see next. And more than all this, if you actually got value out of the video and you're not subscribed yet, slap you in the face. Why aren't you subscribed? Just kidding. You should subscribe though for your own sake as a music producer. All right, brother. This is Shane from Rocky Powered Sound. Catch you very, very soon. Peace out.